here we shall go with the another new topic that is a linear differential equations of first order an equation is of the form dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x where p and q are either constants or functions of x is called as in uh, linear differential equation of first order in y so the equation will be in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x here the p and q are the functions in terms of x so here p of x is multiplied with y then we can say that it is a linear differential equation of first order in variable y so let's see the working rule of this to solve differential equation linear equation dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x uh, first we write the integrating factor that is e power integration of p of x into dx when the equation is in the form of this linear equation uh, then we write the integrating factor that is e power integral p of x into dx so from the question p of x that is a function in terms of x we have to take it the integration to the power of uh, e power to the power e to the power of integration of p of x into dx will be the integrating factor of the given li differential linear equation then after we find out the general solution that is general solution is given by y of integrating factor is equals to integration of q of x into integrating of integrating factor into dx plus c so this will be the general solution for the uh, given differential linear equation here we have the note point that is given dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x we may directly proceed and solve sometimes it may be consist, uh, convenient to put the differential equation in the form of dx by dy plus p of y into x is equals to q of y and treat x as the dependent variable and y as the independent variable so in this case the general solution will be x of integrating factor is equals to integration of q of y into integrating factor dy plus c and integrating factor will be e to the power of integral p of y into dy so question can be asked in this way or the variables can be changed here so when you see these two equations here dy by dx and in this we have the dx by dy so here the independent variable will be x and dependent variable will be y but in this case x is the dependent variable and y is the independent variable just variables will be changed here then integrating factor will be e to the power of integral p of y into dy and general solution will be x of integrating factor is equals to integration of q of y into integrating factor into dy plus c is the general solution let's solve few problems on this method first question we have solve x into dy by dx plus y is equals to log x first we had to make this into the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x so the given equation is x into dy by dx plus y is equals to log x so to get this into this form we here we have the extra x variable so we have to divide this equation by the x variable and here dy by dx coefficient should be 1 so here divide the equation by x on both sides so when you divide it here the coefficient of dy by dx becomes 1 so dy by dx plus y by x is equals to log x by x now that is dy by dx plus here uh, 1 by x into y is equals to 1 by x log x so now when we compare this equation with the dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x here p of x is a function in terms of x so here 1 by x is the p of x and q of x is also a function in terms of x so that is 1 by x into log x so here p of x is 1 by x and q of x is 1 by x into log x so now it is in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x where p of x is a 1 by x and q of x is a 1 by x into log x now we know that integrating factor will be e to the power of integration of p of x into dx so e to the power of p of x is 1 by x into dx so integration of 1 by x with respect to x is log x so e to the power of log x that is equals to x so we know that e power log x power n can be written as x power n so here the power of x is 1 
so e power log x to the power of 1 is x to the power of 1 that is nothing but x so this is the integrating factor that is x now we have to find out the general solution then we have y into integrating factor is equals to integration of q of x into integrating factor into dx plus c so q of uh, sorry y of integrating factor is x and that equals to integration of q of x is 1 by x into log x and integrating factor is x dx plus c so y into x is xy that equals to integration of here x will be cancelled then log x into 1 dx plus c so here to find out the integration of this uh, this is a one function and this log x is another function so we can solve it by using this formula that is integration of u into v dx is equals to uh, u into integration of v minus derivative of u into double integral integration of v plus uh, double derivative of u into triple integration of v by using this formula we can solve it or directly we have the formula that is integration of log x into dx is x of log x minus 1 plus c this is the integration of log x so by using that formula here log integration of log x into dx can be written as x into log x minus 1 plus c so now we can divide the or we can leave it like this or we can divide it by the function x on the both side then we get x into y by x is equals to x of log x minus 1 by x and here c divided by x so finally we get it as y is equals to log x minus 1 plus c by x so this is the general solution of the uh, given equation then our uh, next question we have solve dy by dx is equals to sorry plus 2 into xy is equals to e to the power of minus x square so the given equation is dy by dx plus 2 into xy is equals to e power minus x square so here already the uh, coefficient of dy by dx is 1 so no need to divide with any variable so it is in the form of uh, dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x so here p of x is 2 into x and uh, q of x is e to the power of minus x square now we got the p of x and the q of x from the equation now we have to find out the integrating factor and the uh, general solution here we have integrating factor is equals to e to the power of p of x into dx so e to the power of p of x is 2x into dx so here 2 is a constant right outside then integration of x is x square by 2 so that equals to 2 2 will be cancelled then we get e power x square so integrating factor is e power x square now general solution is y into integrating factor is equals to integration of q of x into integrating factor into dx plus c so y into integrating factor is e to the po power of x square and that equals to integration of q of x is e to the power of minus x square integrating factor is e power x square into dx plus c so now y into e power x square is equals to integration of e power minus x square can be written as 1 by e power x square for example like e power minus 1 can be written as 1 by e and y power minus 1 can be written as 1 by y so similarly e power minus x square can be written as 1 by e power x square into e power x square dx plus c so here the both the terms get cancelled then you get y into e power x square is equals to integration of 1 dx plus c so integration of 1 with respect to x is x so y into e power x square is equals to x plus c is the general solution of this linear differential equation then we, see, we shall see one more question solve x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y is equals to e power 3x of x plus 1 whole square so the given equation is x plus 1 into dy by dx minus y is equals to e power 3x of x plus 1 whole square now we have to make the coefficient of dy by dx as 1 for that we have to divide this whole equation by the x plus 1 so when we divide the coefficient of dy by dx becomes 1 so now divide uh, this equation by x plus 1 on both sides then it becomes dy by dx minus here we get 1 by x plus 1 into y it means we are dividing this 1 with y with respect to x plus 1 so that equals to 
e power 3x of x plus 1 whole square divided by x plus 1. Since we are div uh, what dividing x plus 1 on the both sides. So we get dy by dx minus 1 by x plus 1 into y is equals to here one term will be cancelled. Then we get e power 3x into x plus 1. So now it is in the form of dy by dx plus p of x into y is equals to q of x since we made dy by dx coefficient as 1. So from this p of x is minus 1 by x plus 1. So minus 1 by x plus 1 is the function of p in terms of x and then q of x is 3 e power 3x into x plus 1. So now we have to find out the integrating factor and the general solution. So integrating factor is e power integration of p of x into dx. Substitute the p of x value and integrate it. So e to the power of integration minus 1 x plus 1 into dx is equals to e to the power of uh, here minus bring outside of the integration then you get minus integration of 1 by x plus 1 into dx. So that equals to here we when we are integrating here we know that e power 1 by x dx is equals to e power log x. So integration of 1 by x is log x. So when we have the integration of 1 by x plus 1 then that will be the log of x plus 1 and insert term also we integrate it. So here e power minus log of x plus 1. So that is integration of 1 by uh, x plus 1 is uh, minus log of x plus 1. So that equals to e power log of x plus 1 whole to the power of minus 1. So minus 1 we can be taken into the power of x plus 1. Then it becomes log of x plus 1 whole to the power of minus 1. So we know e power log x power n is x power n. So that is x plus 1 whole to the power of minus 1. So that equals to 1 by x plus 1. So x plus 1 whole to the power of minus 1 can be written as 1 by x plus 1. Now we write the general uh, that is a uh, integrating factor is integrating factor is 1 by x plus 1. So general solution is y of integrating factor is equals to integration of u of x into integrating factor dx plus c. So y into integrating factor is 1 by x plus 1 that equals to integration of q of x is e power 3x of x plus 1. And integrating factor is 1 by x plus 1 into dx plus c. So x plus plus 1 and x plus 1 get cancelled. Then you get y of 1 plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 is equals to integration of e power 3x into dx plus c. So y by x plus 1 is equals to we have the formula integration of e power ax is e power ax by a. So here a is a constant. When we compare this equation here. Here the constant is 3, nothing but a is 3. So e, e power 3x integration is e power 3x by 3 plus c. So the final general solution is y by x plus 1 is equals to e power 3x by 3 plus 1 plus c is a general solution of the given equation.